Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Wednesday morning. It's very warm today. It could be a hot day. Matthew chapter 23, verse 10. Jesus, having yesterday instructed us not to call anyone father, but to see God as our father, now comes in in verse 10. And says these words, and do not be called leaders, for only one is your leader, that is Christ. So he's telling the disciples, do, and do not be called. So he said, don't be called fathers, and don't be called. So he's given a second instruction, and don't be called leaders. And you think, well, what what should you be called then? The, the, and the representation of a leader is teachers. And now it says, because only one is your leader. And the one who is leader is Christ. So it's a, it's, a, it's a jumble of confusion there. Does it really matter what terminology we use in order to be able to identify those who instruct us? Well, according to Jesus... It does. And there's a sense in which he's trying to show the disciples that it's not about the elevation and the positioning that's important. The reality of who we are in terms of what we do is important. And so serving each other is a key component as a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we call brothers and sisters because we are all on the same level. Someone might be fulfilling a particular function in the life of the church, like teacher or a pastor or elder or deacon or worship leader, but they're not more than the person who isn't doing those things because there's a whole host of people doing a whole host of other things that are just as important in serving the reality of the body, the church, working to its best capacity. So Jesus is trying to teach the disciples to avoid that sense of self-elevation and uh, over-inflated perspectives of ourselves. And yet we do not see that when we look on our televisions and watch these vid video YouTubes. We see the elevation of worship leaders. We see the elevation of preachers, of teachers. We see this um, over-focused, Almost like Christians have learned to worship the messenger rather than worship the message and the person who gave the message in the first place. There are many people who are sucked in to worshipping teachers and preachers and worship leaders in these days more than ever I've seen in my whole lifetime, 47 years being a Christian. So Jesus was trying to protect the disciples from going on a journey that was not going to help them and a journey that was not going to help those who called them leaders. And we in these days need to be very mindful of those who we worship and follow. Love their message, love the person, but don't worship them. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow.